Now, how naive does a girl have, a woman, 19 year old female, have to be to not realize she had sex with a guy mm -hmm, under a tree, under a blanket in the park, right? And he pulled down her panties and shorts, right? Pulled down his. <laughs> was inside her. Came with her. They redressed. Went on about their day. Their date. Mm -hmm. Went home to the ship in the taxi. And, uh, together. Saw each other the following day. Everything is hunky dory. Mm -hmm. Then he starts writing her. Talking about getting her pregnant. Talking about... Being there for her, whether he got her pregnant or not, and that he would support her and marry her and love her and, you know, just being a good guy. Mm hmm You know, assuming she knew they had sex, too, right? Because she damn sure didn't say she wanted just oral sex from him. And I know my penis is bigger than my tongue. By far. <laughs> so, um, is she just saying she's that? Out of it about a male and female relationship when she told me something weird about her and her dad anyway. That he had tried to do something weird, right? See, what that tells you is, if you're a male, mm -hmm, is her dad's a sicko. Right. Tried to make a move on his own daughter. Mm -hmm. And you dealt with it through an ex-girlfriend named Lisa as well. Mm -hmm. And that she had survived it was trying to move on with her life and chose you as her new boyfriend and was open to sex with you but knew it was wrong to be with her dad, right? That's how you would kind of see that, right? If you meet her and y'all do all that, too. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, then suddenly there's an attitude, right? Self-righteous as Satan's himself from hell. From hell. You don't know what the problem is. I don't know. And it's... During the next month, she breaks up with you, right? You don't know what's going on. You're talking about getting married. You're talking about continuing the relationship. And uh, you're thinking she was all into it. She didn't complain. She was all on board, all on board. And then, what? <laughs> did I get her pregnant? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. did I not get her pregnant? I know. Um... Did she not even realize we had sex? Is that it? <laughs> I hope she don't say I raped her down. <laughs> All those thoughts will go through your head and, uh, as well. Mm -hmm. If suddenly, okay, she stops writing you and suddenly, right, there's like a dawning on her and, uh, that uh, we made love and not... <laughs> Just oral sex? I don't know. When you never said you just wanted oral sex with the male anyway? Mm-hmm. Well, see, that's the problem. Mm-hmm. I told you before, I've done oral sex with Lisa, mm -hmm. or ex-girlfriend, and only oral sex, sorry. And can stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. I've also had sex with five women before I was with you. Mm -hmm. Didn't stop. <laughs> Told you that too. Mm -hmm. Thought you wanted to be my sixth and last girlfriend. Right. Even if we had premarital sex. And see, Moses says, right, if you entice a maid and lay with her, back then you were to go to her father or whatever, right, and ask his hand in marriage. Well, you told me your father had molested you, and you were 19, you were of the age of consent. Right. So I thought you were done with your father for good and wanted a man <laughs> to be your husband. Right. And that you knew through your father, okay, you can have sex with anyone, but chose me because we fell in love at first sight. Mm -hmm. And nothing about the relationship indicated you had any problem with the sex, including it. <laughs> Until what? <laughs> Your religiosity stepped in? All right. And I treated you like 
a whore instead of a wife or a slut? No, no. No. I was wanting to marry you, including if our ships went to Jerusalem in Jerusalem. Right. Well, someone's screwing up the story. <laughs> and it ain't me. <laughs> I thought we were two backslid Christians. You because your dad had molested you. Me because I had had, you know, a bad experience with my shipmates in the church. And, uh, and I thought we were both looking for the freedom that's found only in unconditional love. <laughs> Not the law, which condemns by you judging each other unto condemnation, she notes. To where you changed what was a beautiful three-day love affair into a nightmare for you in only one person's mind. Your own, your own. You went from good girlfriend to woman who scorned herself so badly <laughs> that her new boyfriend didn't even know what the hell the problem was. Still don't know what the hell the problem is. And instead oh no, of forgiving it, even if it was not sex you wanted, but we did it anyway and you didn't complain about it. Right. Okay. Instead of saying, well, that was a lovely experience anyway. I didn't have a problem with it. I just didn't communicate well to him. <laughs> Otherwise, it could have turned out differently there too. Right. See, like I said, you can't expect me to know you didn't want sex. You never said that. Mm -hmm. You have to say that to the male. Mm -hmm. You can't assume the male ain't looking for another girlfriend whom he had already had sex with five up to you. Mm -hmm. And indicated he wanted to do the same with you. <laughs> Did I not? <laughs> Did I act like when we caught the cab, I would ever abandon you? You don't say all that over oral sex. <laughs> you say that if you have sex sex <laughs> to the girl. <laughs> that I would never leave you or forsake you. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, <laughs> you force me, right? To like, what the hell? Just kind of shit that I step into, right? Okay, is this girl so naive that she didn't realize we had sex until I started talking about her getting pregnant and marrying her, right? And is she that foobard, right? By what happened with her dad? <laughs> that she just blinded herself that we had sex, even though we had sex. And is she so religious... Lee Hellbound, right? In other words, what I mean by that is not only did she condemn me, she condemned herself for falling into my trap when there was no trap to begin with. The only one who trapped us was her. Was her. When she suddenly became Miss Super Saint <laughs> the following month, and turned everything upside down that seemed to be beautiful mm -hmm. and loving and caring, right? In any relationship. I don't even know what did it <laughs> to cause her such animosity in less than a month of knowing her. And uh, that's why I asked, well, I'm kind of hoping the shipmates did write her some kind of crazy letters because if they didn't, it don't explain her behavior. I don't, I don't. I'm trying to give her, you know, some kind of, you know, normalcy in the real world, right? See, there's the Christian world of Pentecostal self-righteousness, you know, church-going people. Mm -hmm. And then there's the real world, right? Where people are sinners, saved by grace through faith, not of works, least any man should boast. 
That's the real Christian world. Mm -hmm. You got Jerry Falwell going to motel rooms with hookers. You got Jim Baker raping poor Jessica Hahn <laughs> with a roofie or something <laughs> in a motel room and not even apologizing to the girl for it in self-righteousness from Satan himself. Because mm -hmm. he's the man. He's the pastor. All right. And all I can do now is say, Sheena, I'm sorry. I didn't know you didn't want sex. E even now, that's all I can say. <laughs> I didn't know you only wanted oral sex, which is the only thing I can include there, too. <laughs> you you naively thought I wanted just to lick your vagina. <laughs> and I instead put my penis in. Though, I hope it felt good either way. <laughs> Whichever it was to you. Mm. You didn't seem to complain. <laughs> Did it make you have a little quick orgasm? <laughs> Anyway, anyway, <laughs> I mean, you didn't say it wasn't good. <laughs> you didn't say it wasn't good. And you didn't say you didn't like it until I started bringing it out more in the letters and talking about pregnancy and getting married, right? Which all couples don't talk about that. Sure we do. Sure we do. Again, unless, like I said, the shit beats started writing you some type letters or shit like that. No. Uh, and I wouldn't even have a clue to that. <laughs> See, I wrote you from the start handwritten letters, right? Might have sent you a postcard or something, right? <sighs> but see, if they wrote you, guess who checks my mail? The shipmates. See, they were not trained to me. Not even, mm hmm. On the job they had me on, which was the watch. They only showed me what to do on the watch one time when I first got to the ship after I got back from Galley Beauty. <laughs> and then stuck me on it, <laughs> having to work also 8 to 12 and then take the 12 before watch, then try to sleep between um, 4 to 12, right, where you have the, everybody in the room. <laughs> and then try to take the 12 to 4s again. Right. Then try to sleep another um, four hours to about 7 to 8 for muster. Right. And motherfuckers didn't even wake me up for muster. <laughs> that was the kind of people and kind of stress I had when I met you, Sheena. So yeah, I'm sorry if I thought you and I were hitting it off and I had sex with you and you wanted oral sex instead of sex sex. Right. But had you told me that, that would have been fine, right? But the problem is, I had done been with five women, right? Sorry. <laughs> I thought we wanted to make love, not just do the tongue thing. <laughs> not that I mind, right? I just thought with us being in the park under the blanket, go for it, brother. <laughs> You know, there it is. There it is. <laughs> you know, men have a penis, not just a tongue. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> Who else had the bigger problem? Daphne and me split in amicably. Mary Bell called me, but she had a problem, but I don't know what to do about it. Could be her, too. <laughs> you and Mary Bell together or something. But like I said, right? Between you and her... Daphne seemed the only one to support the possibility of having a child with me, right? But not you two, huh? <laughs> you two, huh? Right, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like I said, you call me up three years later, Mary Bell. Tell me that the baby is born with four pounds, nine ounces. Your husband confirms it. And I'm the one with the problem, <laughs> Because every baby book says it's my child. <laughs> uh, based on the birth weight alone. <laughs> but I can't prove it to you. <laughs> Though Scott's divorcing you for some reason. <laughs> Did you even make him pay child support? Because you would have to determine if the child was his or not. <laughs> or did you let it go? <laughs> And not making pay child support. Because if you found out the child was mine. 
God knows what you would do. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay, y'all figure this out. <laughs> Two.